Thank you for having me on the show. I'm, I'm very pleased to be here. Uh, I grew up in Mississippi, a uh, small farming community in the Mississippi Delta, uh, okay. very close to Mound Bayou, Mississippi. Uh, my father was a dirt farmer. My mom uh, essentially stayed home and took care of the kids, took care of my father. Uh, so having grown up on a farm, I definitely wanted to get out. <laughs> so university, uh, university education was the key for me. So I went to Mississippi State University, got my bachelor's and master's degree there, uh, master's in public affairs and administration. Uh, after I graduated, I went off to the University of Missouri, Columbia, where I got a PhD in political science. And probably two or three years in, I figured out what I wanted to do. <laughs> and that was to be a college professor. And I've had a pretty good run at, at being a professor. Uh, I, I graduated in 96 from the University of Missouri, went on to a small school in Kentucky, and then I went back to my alma mater, taught there for three years, uh, was eventually tenure promoted and decided, you know, I want to do something a little bit different. So I went to work at the Congressional Budget Office, probably the single most you know, good thing I've ever done for my career. Uh, students appreciate practical applications, and when a professor can get some practical applications, it's a great thing. But probably three or four months into the Congressional Budget Office, I realized I really like being a professor. <laughs> I love my job, but the reality is I just wasn't an eight to five person. You know, growing up on a farm, I worked on the farm every summer. Uh, to be more specific, I was charged with. Uh, feeding the pigs. There was a, a fairly <laughs> substantial pig uh, farm there. So I had to feed the pigs, clean out the stalls. Terrible job. <laughs> but somebody had to do it. So getting up early was part of the farm life. But I also realized I didn't like getting up early. So I love my work at the Congressional Budget Office, but probably three or four months in, I decided I, I like being a professor. That's my calling. Yeah, right. So I ended up back, at, back south in the University of Memphis which is very close to my family. Um, in fact, my daughter uh, was there. So I, we, we moved back down there and started teaching at the University of Memphis. And I was there for nine years, uh, teaching in the School of Urban Affairs and, and Public Policy. Uh, then I got a call from the University of Missouri, had some friends there. It's like, hey, why don't you come join us? Mm -hmm. So that was my stop before I came here. Uh, I left the University of Memphis as chair of the department. I went to the University of Missouri. Uh, within a few months, I became the associate dean uh, there with my uh, good friend, Bart Wexler. And for five years, essentially, we did some really good things. But, you know, where I was left at that point was, you know, I've always been a person that, you know, what are we doing to help people in a more realistic way? And I was formally trained as a political scientist, but at some point in my career, I went back to my PA uh, heritage mm -hmm. and said, you know, in public affairs, we do things that literally help people. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the things that I was working on at the Congressional Budget Office was, was health care issues, CHIP to be more specific. Okay. So I started back doing research in that area, started doing some budgeting and finance work. And I essentially abandoned all of the political science work I, I had done. And I'd, I'd been pretty successful in, in that venue. But I wanted to feel something more substantive. Mm -hmm. And that was the right decision for me. So, you know, your publishing research, uh, at some point I decided, you know, there's still something more to be had. And that's how I ended up here, because I've never worked at a university that says the university's goal is to be an anchor institution. Um, and the chancellor is the one that's driving it. Now, the University of Memphis actually fell into that same mode. Mm -hmm. The school that I was in, also, we consider ourselves an anchor institution, the school, okay. but not the university. Gotcha. And here we have the whole university. That changed everything for me.